Now I'm gonna read some of your reasons why birds bite. Leanne Parrott says, my bird bit me because I was cleaning up his poo while he was licking it. Ooh. Hello, my... Oh, you were supposed to wait until I said your name. Good. Okay. I got that that's it, but just... This is Vinny, guys, and my name is Marlene McCohen. <laughs> you said, hey, good job. We have a really fun video for you guys today. Right, Vinny? Oh, no. It's a nice sweater. You want me to tell them about the sweater? Okay. Vinny loves this because his picture is on it. This is the Vinny Gang shirt, and he is a very cool, exclusive gang. If you guys want to become part of the Vinny Gang, the link is below. Did I do a good job? Yes? <laughs> okay, uh, you're happy about that. Vinny loves them. In fact, there are boxes nearby holding the new shipment that just came in. So I don't expect Vinny to be with us very long because once he discovers those, it's over. I have a very fun video for you guys today. We are going to talk about reasons why your bird bites. But I'm gonna tell you the funny random reasons why birds bite. Hear me out. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna tell them all. I'm gonna tell them all those reasons as well. Yeah, I do listen though. If you know what, I think I agree with you, but I think No, listen, I agree. Okay, it'll just be the Vinny show then. Uh, well, okay, well, thank you. Thank you. It, I know you'll be right there, but if you want to come back and help me with the video, he's throwing a tantrum in the other room. Okay. Yeah, I start things off like so seriously and then it all goes haywire with certain birds. That's why you don't see them as often in my videos where I sit down because Vinny does this and Cody is does another thing. So I wanna talk about biting, but I don't wanna talk about it. I wanna give you guys a really fun, funny, and serious list of why birds bite. Now, if you read up anything on birds biting, or if you're very familiar with birds and you understand their behavior, you know that most biting comes out of fear, aggression, territory, hormones, or dominance issues, right? And I could go into great detail about all of those, but what I learned from doing YouTube YouTube is that a lot of you that know a lot about birds, you watch to just enjoy and get confirmation. But a lot of you that are new to birds, you don't know what the heck you did. You don't know what kind of move you made and your bird just bit you. And uh, so forgive me for those of you experts, but I'm gonna go through a list right now that I made of blank reasons why your birds bite. Cause I don't even know how many reasons I have on this list. And then I'm gonna do some shout outs and read out some of your comments of why your bird birds have previously bit you, okay? It's gonna be fun because you're gonna see reasons that you wouldn't have thought of, but oh, it has happened to you. And those of you that it has happened are gonna be like, yeah, that happens to me all the time. So uh, this is like a little less like textbooky, but a little more behavioral, just so like you could clear cut go, oh, okay. So really the bird just hated my shoes because yeah, so that happens. 
What I'm talking about is Vinny. Adam, Tracy's husband, came over and as soon as Vinny laid eyes on his flip flops, Vinny was mad at them. And he chased Adam out of the house and Tracy was like, I told you, honey, those were ugly flip flops. I told you, you tell him, Vinny. And like Adam straight up jumped out of his shoes, okay? Vinny was just not having it. And I knew right away as soon as I saw them, like I don't even know what it is in me that remembered what his problem might be or like what triggered it. But as soon as I saw him coming with those shoes, I'm like, it's over. And he doesn't do that often with people's shoes. He used to back in the day, but when he came with those flip flops, I'm like, nah. So Vinny, do you want to come do this with me or do you want to stay there? And these are not going to be in any particular order. So if I get to number 10 before you're like, oh yeah, that's true. Just know that I have so many birds and I known so many birds. So these are a whole bunch of different reasons. Okay. One, a lot of birds hate hands. Very weird thing. They'll step up to you, but like you try to touch them in a certain way that just makes them want to bite. Two, it's too late at night and it's time for their bed. Birds get grumpy too. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes they just are ready for bed and you are missing the mark. Three, your bird wants to go potty. No, seriously, sometimes you have a tame bird and it just like doesn't want to jump off you, but like it needs to tell you, yo, I need to go potty. And this, George used to do this and Jersey will kind of do this too. Like she's giving me the signal, so you need to listen to it. And sometimes if you don't, they're like, hey, I'm gonna bite you a little harder. Four, he's on his favorite person. Oh my God, guys, this is the thing. If you want to bond with a bird and they're on their favorite person, wrong time, okay? Like you are not the favorite person and the favorite person enters, you may get bit. Okay, just fair warning. Five, he just saw a person he doesn't like. So yeah, he saw the person he does like, he bites you. Maybe you are the person he does like and he saw a person he didn't like or the person he doesn't like is next to him or the person he didn't like just is about to enter and the bird could bite you. Six, the bird is jealous of you or another person. Literally like if I give love to one bird, another bird might bite me. Even if I give love to George, another bird might bite me. If Jersey sees Jenna's boyfriend give love to her, Jersey's gonna bite the boyfriend. So this is just a real serious thing within like bird world, especially those of you that include your birds a lot and you should, big reason. Okay, here's a big one. When your bird is territorial, I mean, that's a whole issue in itself, but let's say you go to change the bird's food. If he's territorial over his cage and you put your hand inside it, he could bite. Even the nicest bird, Monty's kind of like this. He's food slash cage territorial, might not want you in there. Same with a play stand, maybe territorial over a play stand. So just keep that in mind. You may have just entered their space and they may not be comfortable with that. They're hormonal, exhibiting hormonal behavior. This is very common. Another big, big umbrella of problems that come underneath this, but just be aware when your bird is hormonal, you don't want to touch them inappropriately. You don't want to upset them. You don't want to stress them out, especially if you have another bird near them. That's also hormonal, especially if it's a same kind of bird. These are just things to think of because birds have their own feelings and their own little heart too. So you just have to respect them. So that's a whole nother thing. But yes, hormones. Nine, for those of you that have birds that randomly lay eggs, uh, whether or not the bird is bonded or just laid an egg, the bird could suddenly become very territorial over the egg. In fact, they will. They do the same with their nesting materials. That's why it's very controversial to give your birds boxes and such things because it might increase their nesting behavior, which increases them being very possessive over it. And if you have a female bird, it may induce egg laying, which you have to be careful of. But in some cases, it could be great foraging for birds too. So it just depends on you, your house, how you're handling your bird and what you know. That's very important too. Like if you are aware of their behavior and how they're handling it and how long you've had birds, all that, that is important too, just for you guys to know. Number 10, fear. Fear just in general with birds. They could be new to your house. They could just be scared of something around them. Something new that you place around. Vinny hates ladders. Like if he sees a ladder, he also hates Harry. He doesn't mind the other dogs, but hates Harry. Okay. Birds can get scared too. They could get scared of someone new. So just be respectful and understanding of why he's mad at that moment. 11, aggression. Aggression in general is also a big umbrella of things, but he may be exhibiting some dominance towards you or over something that makes him really protective of 
over it, especially if you just got a bird, he could be trying to show like how dominant he is, like that he's going to be the bird of the house. Probably he will be the bird of the house, but you want it to be in a positive way, which brings us to dominance. Dominance is really important. You always want to train the bird lower than you. You kind of want to make sure that you always make yourself head of the flock. All of these could really have their own video, but I'm just trying to bring your attention quickly to many different things that your bird could be biting because of. Other animals. There may be other animals in your house that are there or visiting that your bird does not like, and when the bird comes close to, the bird is just not comfortable. Kids. It's the same with Jersey. She, like, will not come out if Bella is around. She'll just stand up on top of her tree and she doesn't want anything to do with it. Yet Leo loves Bella and he can be so territorial over Bella that he will bite if you try to take him away from Bella. So like all birds are different. Meanwhile, if I try to even pick up Jersey near Bella, she's gonna bite me because she'll show me like, no, I'm not coming down. I do not feel comfortable. 14, molting. This is a really important one. Your birds can be really sensitive during molting. You may not know that you touched a feather that is hurting them so they bite you. Remember with biting, sometimes it's the bird's only way of showing you that they are uncomfortable. Maybe you weren't getting it a few times and then finally when they bite, you're like, oh wait, should I look at something closer? So just keep that in mind when you think about your bird because you don't want to punish your bird or torture your bird or leave it in a cage forever because it was just trying to say, hey yo, I'm molting and maybe you didn't know that. 15. Speaking of cockatoos, overly excited. Birds can get overly excited too, and then they're just like children. It's like they kind of lose their minds, especially cockatoos. They can get so excitable that they just want to join in on the fun, and it makes them rowdy, and if you interfere with that, they could bite as well. Maybe you touched a spot on the bird that hurts. This is why you should always be investigative. Maybe the bird has a broken blood feather, and you just don't see the blood. Maybe there's a feather twisted. A lot of these things happen, and it could be a good sign for you to investigate. 17 kissing another bird. Sometimes you just like went and kissed another bird. I know this falls under jealousy, but it's just like sometimes I got to spell things out. Like you could kiss another bird and the bird is just not happy with that. Like Nelly and Monty, not going to fly. 18. Your bird could get offended because you offered him a carrot. For example, Rocky hates carrots. I would offer him a carrot. He would throw it back at me and then tell me that he's going to bite me by saying ow because he did not want to be offered a carrot. Sometimes they take it personally. They're like, no. I don't want the carrot and I don't want you to offer me a carrot. Some birds are grumpy in the morning. Jersey's kind of one of these birds. Like she sits there and she's like, you woke me up too early. And I'm like, girl, it's 10 a.m. Okay, you should be good. You're not good. She's like, bring me my breakfast. I'm like, okay, whatever you say. I try to get her out and she's like, mm -mm, no, she could bite, you know? Jersey doesn't actually bite, but some birds just bite in that situation. 20. Oh, this is a really popular one. You're holding your bird, your bird's having a good time, and then you go to put the bird away in the cage. Bird bites. Bird not happy. Bird wants to continue living the fun life with you. Same if you put the bird on a play stand. A lot of times when you put birds down and they don't want to go, they bite. This is literally one of the ways they can communicate. Obviously, it's not the best way. It's a bird. No one wants to get bit by a bird, but sometimes this is their way of communicating. So just if you start learning to pick up their cues, you'll get bit less. Oh, here's a big one in our family, especially with Ty. You went on vacation and you came back, so I'm gonna bite you because you were gone and that upset me. So yeah, that's real popular. Like in our house, when we come back after and see Ty, like expect to be bit. But my brother has this like tactic. He like comes with a gift that Ty can put in his mouth and keep his mouth busy. Try it. 21. Did I say changing the food? Yeah, this falls into territory. Like you could literally be changing their water or doing something that they don't want you to do and yeah number 22 you didn't respect the pecking order oh my god you said hi to another bird first that is supposed to be said hi to last this is a very big deal for birds number 23 you said hi to the dogs first uh, Rocky doesn't love Jenna anymore because Jenna's obsessed with the dogs and Rocky thought he was going to be her number one and then now it's not. So yeah, Rocky wrote her out of his life and now he always wants to kill her. You could have taken a bird away. Oh my God, like literally two birds could like each other and you could move one and take one away or they were like bonding and you didn't know about it. They could be the same or different birds. Same with like Jersey, how she was with Picasso. Picasso didn't want me to take Jersey away from him ever. So so that could make him very upset. It's just things to think of. You change something about yourself, literally, like birds don't like things to be different. Your bird may hate your nail polish. You may be wearing a hat. All these things are different. They don't like changes. You shaved a beard. If you change
change something about your appearance, your bird may not be comfortable. You were wearing gloves. Birds don't like gloves. Some birds may love gloves. Some birds may not care. These are just reasons birds may bite. You wanna hear some reasons I've gotten bit that are just like simple and minute? Vinny saw a ladder. I changed my nail polish. I wasn't wearing nail polish. Then I was wearing nail polish. Suddenly I was wearing a hat. Oh my God, I was wearing glasses. I took a toy away. I needed to give the bird a toy. I gave a different bird a toy. This bird now doesn't have a toy. I messed with Vinny's box. I touched Vinny's box. I looked at Vinny's box. Jenna looked at Vinny's box. Vinny remembered that Jenna looked at Vinny's box 20 minutes ago. Vinny now has bit Jenna because she knocked on his box an hour ago. He now has a vengeance. Jenna moved out and got a boyfriend. Vinny called her a traitor. Vinny now hates Jenna. Jersey hates boyfriend. Jenna kissed boyfriend. I kissed Rocky's boyfriend. I worked too long. I paid attention to another bird. Another bird paid attention to me. Leo didn't like that I spoke to Bella. Leo didn't like that I kissed Bella. Leo didn't like that I didn't let him play with Bella. Leo didn't like that Bella cried. Vinny won't like that I take him downstairs right now when he knows there's a perfectly good box. These are just some really quick reasons why birds may bite. Now I'm gonna read some of your reasons why birds bite. Patricia Joel Aronson, the name is so long it didn't like show up the whole thing, just wrote, I don't have a bird. Okay. Katrina Savala says that her blue fronted Amazon bites when he sees other birds. He hates wild birds. So when he's sitting on her shoulder and he sees wild birds, that's what happens. Druid AO, because he needs me to take him to the cage to poop. Definitely one of my reasons. Tiffer Biff. My friend has a parrot that will bite anyone that isn't her daddy. She will go out of her way to find you. Okay, that's a very serious parrot. I hadn't even gotten into that that far going out of the way to find you, but yes, it does happen. It's like Jersey and Jenna's boyfriend, any boyfriend that she's ever had. Okay, bird mom, cage territorial, totally agree. Ha, huh? classic me, because I tickled his paws and he sunk his teeth into me. Oh wait, I think you might mean a dog. Nadij Porior, he was hormonal. At least you're aware. Jassy48, because my rainbow wanted to eat what I was eating. It's Kaylin Shram7 said her bird bit her because she pet her under the wing. That can happen. ALS Pam says his bird just pushes him away when he doesn't like something, he doesn't bite it. You know, George did that too, most of the time. That was so cute about him. Ashley Meeker14, my bird once bit me for picking up my poop. I was like, I'm just trying to help. Georgia Vare, protectiveness over their cage. That's right. Masquerade86 says, my ring neck likes the taste of blood. You got a vampire on your hands. Stacy Bacon 90 says, because a stranger was standing nearby and he didn't like him. Henry Rika says, so my bird was stuck while he went there himself in a seed bag and I looked into it and got bit. Yeah, well that, I, I get you. My my cockatiel used to do that. They're just kind of trying to find their own nest, you know? Diana Gomez, when I don't let her play with something she wants. Makes sense. Hobbyist drawings. I had to separate my birds to take one to the vet and they didn't like that. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth Mart, you know, it doesn't let me see the rest of the name. It's the weirdest thing. My bird Lily bites my ear because it's vicious and she must save me from it. Grant dot pa. Mad about bedtime. Oh yeah, Jersey's like that. It's only Mariah. Her bird wants to get her retainer because it's shiny and she likes it. Leanne Parrott says, my bird bit me because I was cleaning up his poo while he was licking it. Ooh. Anahi, 110405. My bird has bitten me when I got a new nail color. Oh yeah. Michelle Morales, my bird bites me when he's excited. He gives me love bites. Your girl McGill says, because I sneezed. Fidios D. Mantec, I wish it showed me the rest. I didn't give him as many kisses as my other budgie. Mm-hmm, that's your fault. And he had to restrain him when he had a broken blood feather. Byron Floyd says, hormonal high levels with my pionis. Emmer Chili says, because my partner got too close. This is what we all have to deal with. Jordan Katie says, for wanting my toast. Queen Justice says, I woke my bird up too early. Basically, she uncovered the blanket from the cage and the bird was not happy and not ready to wake up. 
Cupcake Unicorn says, Ringo wants to bite when he wants a head scratch. You know what, Nellie's exactly like that. Jennifer Curtis 81 says, picking him up while he's eating. Okay guys, that was so much fun. Let me know in the comments why your bird bites. I really enjoyed that. I love giving you guys shout outs, reading out your stuff. I feel like we're all included here. If you guys wanna become a flighter and see cool stuff and know more information, get exclusive videos or get any of these videos earlier, don't forget to join my Patreon. I have the link below and if you want to get some awesome merch the most awesome merch in the game Check the link below. I just got the new shipment in don't forget to follow me on Instagram Let me go get Vinny to say bye tell them Okay Vinny tell them goodbye and tell them to become part of the Vinny gang. Do you want them to become part of the Vinny gang? You want them to go on Facebook? I do have a Facebook page that I am on that you guys could check out really cute videos of Jersey and everything. We have over 100,000 subscribers or followers on our Facebook page. So yeah, that was a good call, Vinny. Very good, just stick with the Facebook. Why are you obsessed with it? Oh. I love you guys so much. Say bye, Vinny.